Hey you guys, um, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about story structure and specifically the Pixar story spine. Now the story spine was kind of pioneered by the Pixar company and it's a way to distill a story into its most basic form so that you can build upon it and so that every scene um, pushes the plot forward. What it is essentially is it's consolidating the story into a wireframe essentially. If you're an artist, a gesture, if you're a writer, an outline. And from that outline, the storyteller builds upon the story and puts details into the story. But because he has a structure, he's able to push the plot in the correct direction. Okay, so this is a story spine. It's made up of six prompts and starts off with once upon a time. Every day, one day, because of that, because of that, until finally. Now, this is kind of the format you want to be able to fit your story into in order to consolidate it and um, add detail and scenes to expand it. Um, we're going to go through a couple of case studies just to show you how it's put into practice. The first case study is going to be up. Uh, let's get going. Once upon a time, there was a couple who loved adventure and exploration. Every day, they would save money to go on their own adventure. One day, the woman got sick and passed away. Because of that, the man threw caution to the wind and escaped from his life and went on a long-awaited adventure. Because of that, he mistakenly took a young boy scout with him. Because of that, the man was forced to make concessions to the little boy and lengthen his trip. Because of that, he had to choose between his long-awaited adventure and the scout that he took with him. Until finally, he realized that the ultimate adventure comes from caring for those you love. Okay, our second case study is the Dead Poet Society. Once upon a time, there was a boy who was uncomfortable in his own skin. Every day, he tried to do what his parents expected of him. One day, a new teacher was hired that challenged all of the conventional dogma of their school. Because of that, the students started to think for themselves. Because of that, the parents and the teachers tried to clamp down on them. Because of that, one student commits suicide. Because of that, the students are pressured to blame the new teacher. Until finally, the boy rebels against the status quo and defends the teacher. Okay, our third and final case study is about Martin Luther. Okay, let's take a look. Once upon a time, there was a priest who sought to serve God. Every day, he would serve his patrons by bringing them closer to God. One day, he became uncomfortable with certain practices of the Catholic Church. Because of that, he sought to counsel with church elders. Because of that, the church leaders sought to silence him by threatening him. Until finally, Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses on the chapel door. Okay, we've walked you through some basic story spine examples and the, the structure of a story spine. Now, I would advise that you try it with a simple story, maybe even just you going to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Anything in your life can be structured into a story, um, into a story spine. And while you might dramatize it at a different point, once you know where you start and where you want the story to end, it's much easier to craft details that support the ending of a story when you, you know where the story is going to go. So sit down, take five to ten minutes, and post your story spine in the comments. See you next time.